We told you about this move earlier today uh, where uh, the Federal Reserve uh, District Governor more or less telegraphed, if you think I'm going to join these others who say rates should go up sooner rather than later, forget about it. I'm just paraphrasing here. So right now the sentiment is beginning to change. The probability of September rate hike, maybe uh, next week, um, it looks increasingly unlikely. Now at 15%. Now before Ms. Bernard's comments, it was at 21%. Friday, 24%. So increasingly, uh, the betting that the interest rates were going to go up sooner rather than later has now been pushed back. What to make of that and the effect of the economy? Former J.C. Penney Chairman and CEO Alan Weston with us. Alan, always good to have you. Uh, maybe what it's nice to have you, N N Neil. It's nice to have you back. Your smiling face is appreciated by those at Fox, and I think all of us who watch you all the time. Well, I appreciate makes that. Makes a big and, difference and, in our day. And you've guaranteed not a single tough question as a result of that. Um, <laughs> but let me ask you, in all seriousness, about what you make of what Ms. Bernard is saying. That maybe, contrary to some of her more, you know. Uh, hawkish uh, colleagues, now is not the time to raise rates. Would that be a benefit to, to, to consumers? How do you see it playing out and, and, and for retail sales in general? Well, I, I certainly benefit to retailers and for, for the market. But you know, the problem is we have the Fed governors talking at all different places all over around there. And every time one talks, it causes the market to go up or down. And I do think one day it's going to start to go up, but it, it get, again, I think they should try to get together and wait till their 21st of September meeting and all speak with one voice because it really makes the market crazy. You know, a lot of people are worried too that they're letting the the markets do the bidding here. In other words, if they have a sell-off as they did on Friday, that the markets are, are, are deciding this and not economic fundamentals. What do you make of that? I think that I think that's right. And I think it's very difficult for a central government to try to organize and control things. And I think that they're probably doing more harm than they're helping. But, but again, I'm not an expert on that. But I do think that if they could just speak with one voice, it would yeah. certainly be more effective and helpful. That's that's a very good point there. Um, you know a lot about consumers. Uh, obviously, you're one of the best reads of it anywhere. And um, I want to pass along a conversation I had with a family member as to whether he was going to buy one of these new iPhones. And he said, well, why should I? Um, I don't see a reason to spend money on something that I really don't badly need. And he's not necessarily a cheap person. And I'm, I'm seeing this play out. A lot of people who even have the wherewithal to buy aren't in much of a mood to buy. Uh, now, that's for a, a phone, I, I grant you. But is that dictating the consumer's mood? Is there no real urgency to buy? Well, your relative is absolutely right on the money. I think one of the th issue you have, when the first iPhone came out, we, saw, we saw, sold millions of them. You bring out a new version that's very similar to the old version, but with minor, minor adjustments. It doesn't cause anybody to rush out. And that also goes on in the retail market itself in terms of apparel or home furnishings. If you have keep coming back with the same old things and the presentations are not exciting, people are not going to come out and shop. Plus, you have the problem with e-commerce, where people don't have to come in as often as they do. And I think all retailers, brick, bricks and mortar, have to be able to recognize that they have to make the stores much more exciting. The merchandise has to sing to people. And by the way, when you see that happen, you see the TJ Maxx, they have, they have very good sales. You get, you get the, the, the uh, fast fashion store, Zara, they're doing quite well. So I think when we come out with new and different product that the customer says, I got to have, then you start to see people respond at the cash register. But so many of them seem to be so worried about their own economic prospects. Uh, I know that's always been the case since we had the meltdown and then people came back, got jobs, many of them not at the pay they had. But it seems to be permeating a number of industries and just folks of all economic stripes. Well, I think that's true, but I, I think we, you know, we've had some, up until just recently, some very good car sales because yeah. they've come out with new and different cars. I think it's, uh, it's up to the, the, the retailer or the manufacturer to create new products or you're not going to have demand. The same old will not cause people to get out of the seat and come into the store. They'll do it on the Internet, and when you go through the Internet, which, by the way, has become a big issue, People go into the stores less often. When they go into the stores less often, they buy less goods. Because what you buy on the Internet is a, bo a box of Tide, but then you don't buy the other things you, where you go if you walked into the store without a shopping list.
Yeah, to the benefit of Amazon, but not so a lot of other folks. Well, it's, uh, most of these, most retailers now have their own internet, yeah. and and so that just gives people reasons not to go in. But I do think that the uh, people will go into stores. You know, Costco does not have internet. Their business up to, is, recently has been quite good. TJ Maxx has it, but very small, and their people are going to the stores. So they yeah. have created reasons for people to come. Well put. And that's what our job. That is what our job is as a retailer: is to create that reason for people to come and buy. Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, Alan Quester, former uh, J.C. Penney chairman, CEO, all around retail genius. Thank you very much. Nice to be nice to be with you. You look great. You look great. Thank you very very much.